You're tuning in to the Black Hollywood Live Network, featuring news, interviews, and commentary on all things Black Hollywood. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is Black Hollywood Live. Next, featuring intimate and in-depth interviews with Black Hollywood's next edition of Stars and Influencers. Black Hollywood Live. Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood. And now, the host for Black Hollywood Live, next. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to BHL Next, the only show where we interview everybody that's up and coming because this is a show. Where is that? Yes, it is. You hear the song? Hey. You see me trying to dug you, yeah. girl? Video. Oh, snap! Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? It's our guest for today. It's our guest for today. His name is Verse Simmons. Guys, hi. What up? What's up? How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm good. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for having good. me. Good. We're so happy. And this yeah. that video, by the way, is hilarious. At the very yeah. beginning, when you're over oh, there looking like two fifteen, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. With Akon yeah. and Lil Duval, that's hilarious. Yeah, but I love it. I wanted to make sure we had some kind of, you know, personality. Yeah, right. In the video, yeah. yeah. First Simmons in the building. I'm yeah. your host, Megan Thomas. <laughs> Who are you guys? I am your boy Cortez G West, and sitting next to me, I have the lovely Kiki Ayers. Get familiar. <laughs> Get familiar. Get familiar. Well, that? we need to get familiar is with our guest today. Yeah. His name is Verse Simmons. Is that your real name, by the way? No, Does your granny call you that? My, no, my, my real name is Maurice. 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 You look like a Maurice. You man. do yeah. look like a Maurice. Yeah. What's up? You what? sound like a Maurice. Who okay. got, does your family still call you Maurice? Or like most of your uh, friends call you Maurice? Just like family, my mom and or Mo. My mom will call me Mo sometimes, but that's it. Oh, that's I don't really have a nickname though. outside of Verse. I got that a long time ago. How'd you get it? Through writing. Just yeah. writing music. It's a dope name. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It's dope. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. Good entertainment. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. All right. All right. Yeah. So, um, I know you were born in Puerto Rico, yeah. raised in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Yeah. How would you say that has impacted the culture of those places that impacted your music? I mean, it's great because, you, you know, you get up every morning and the radio can have anything on from the biggest pop song to mm -hmm. reggae or soca music or calypso music. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of got a chance to get a very diverse blend of music growing up, I think it kind of plays a role in, uh, you know, how I write music as well as perform music. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So who, who, who is in your car right now? Right now, a lot of the last songs I did last night. <laughs> <laughs> the day before that. <laughs> so who would, say, really who would be one of your most, um, I guess you can say, artists that influences you? Oh, uh, man. Um, I'd probably say a couple of my top artists that influenced me probably is like Babyface, um, Pharrell. Ah, um, Pharrell. Yeah. Pharrell, man. Yeah, man, you know, um, of course, Jay-Z. Now, I mean, I'm really a fan of the culture in total, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I, I love Boys to Men still, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I still yeah. think that they are dope. And um, so that's the kind of music that I grew up listening to as well. So I love I love all kind of music, man. So you you like Neo? Like you go right. into Neo Soul too and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I like Neo yeah, Soul. You like Kendrick? Remember Kendrick? I did, <laughs> yeah, I did a record with uh with Music Soul Child too. Uh -huh. It was on my uh, I think it was on my Sex Love and Hip Hop mixtape. Okay. Yeah, that I did with DJ Drama. Yeah, right. dope, dope. Yeah. I'm, and I'm listening to you. I'm trying to hear if there's a Caribbean accent since you grew up in the islands. <laughs> Do you have one, or are you just like able to let it come and go as you need? Yeah. Then yeah. so let me hear. What you want to hear? <laughs> say something to me I want with to your accent. Everything. I want to tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you Puerto Rican? Yeah. Really? Do you speak Spanish too? I'm Puerto Rican. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty dope. So my my mom is from Puerto Rico. That's where all my mom's side is from. My dad is from the Virgin Islands. Okay. So I grew up in the Virgin Islands, but I was born in Puerto Rico with my mom's side. That's so, dope. Yeah. That's dope. So what made you want to become a singer songwriter? I think it was just always in me to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never um, I never really wanted to do anything else. Like, I didn't feel another purpose or another calling for anything else. Okay. It's something that I was always able to do. And from a young age, I feel like I just kind of just got it. And I've been writing music and performing music since I was, you know, in elementary school. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's kind of something that I've been doing, you know? What was your first song? 
that uh, of my first song. Yeah, like what was one of the first songs that you uh, ever wrote? Put it out the bank. Put it out the bank. <laughs> <laughs> out the bank. I don't even remember how it goes, man. <laughs> but I used to go by the name of Blue at that time. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, and um, I remember recording the song, and it was horrible. No. <laughs> 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 was it like what was it about was it about love was it about yeah like, you know like <laughs> sexy thing or something how old were so, you write like, a sexy thing you know old enough to know what sexy <laughs> things are <laughs> that's what I'm talking about you know we grow up girls you know we grow right, up right, right, yeah, right, right, we know what's sexy yeah. so, so walk us through the songwriting process let's say you know you have an artist that you're getting ready to work with and they're like I need a song that is up tempo mm -hmm. what do you do you sit down and talk with them like what do you do to come up with a song is it just their what um, you know, sometimes a lot of it is just vibe, you know what I'm saying? And you kind of know the space that the artist needs to be in, so that helps a lot too. Mm -hmm. And if you know kind of like who they are, you got some background on them, it helps to understand like what's going to be believable from that artist. Like I feel like you, anybody could say, yo, just write me a hit, but every hit isn't going to be, isn't going to fit every artist, you right. know what I'm saying? So and in case like when I did Love More for um, for Chris Brown and Nicki Minaj, like that was literally like something like I knew he needed to tell a story and I knew he needed to do it in a way where people could dance to it. Right. And so the track just kind of fit with everything else and it just mm -hmm. and it came together like that. Cool. All right, yeah. cool. So I know you work with a lot of great artists, legends, Jay-Z, R. Kelly, yeah. TLC, Kanye. Yeah. Who has been your favorite person that you've worked with thus far? <laughs> man, that's hard. I, it's so many dope people I've worked with, man. Um, <laughs> y'all gonna laugh they when listen. they say y'all listen. I was like, wait, bro, they listen. Yeah, they laugh, listen. Man. <laughs> Gucci Man is one of my oh. favorite people. Gucci Why man. Gucci Man? Hey, Gucci Man. Um, you know, Gucci is just one of the realest, realest dudes to me, man. Like, you know, he always just kept it 100 with me. He always just been cool. Like, right. We get in the studio, we vibe out, and it's always love. You know what I'm saying? So. Gucci is definitely one of the people that you know yeah. I enjoy working with. I can believe it. You got ice cream on your face. You better be real. <laughs> 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 you got to have a free Gucci party. Too. You got to free him. You got to free him. Yeah, he's one of the most humble yeah. people. People don't, don't understand. Like he's one of the most humble guys probably in the game. But you know, at the same time, he probably could be one of the most dangerous guys in the game. So it's yeah. kind of you just got to know what side you got <laughs> to walk on. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but of course, we all remember that you got a Grammy nomination for Watch the Throne. Speaking uh, of Jay Z, yeah. uh, for the uh, Watch the Throne, yeah. Um, who gonna stop me? I, I I I wrote on that record as well. Mm -hmm. I'm also um, the voice that everybody thinks I guess is Kanye. Who gonna stop me? Hi, yeah, that's yeah. me. But um, I got it was a dope opportunity to mm -hmm. uh, be able to get on that album. Um, that was one of those records. We were up. It was in Atlanta. I did that record. Me and my partner Sham Sakwase, and we started putting the track together. And then you know, it kind of just was one of those things that we knew was immediate. Like right. we knew it was yeah. urgent. Like they were going love this record for sure and they definitely did and kind of went in and made some changes and adjustments and it came out so that does that tie hand to hand when you when you got that grammy nomination that, that made you feel like oh we already knew that we already I mean, knew that was coming bro you, you you never know you never know how it's gonna go mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but you just hope for the best at the end of the day like like grammys and stuff like that to me like just starting is just starting to get into a position where it's like oh that'd be cool to have one but mm -hmm. uh, through my entire career, I never really cared about that. Like, I, for me, it was like, if I'm creating great music and I could do this, and this is my life, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I don't have to go do another job. Yeah. Right. I'm good. And because you feel that way, you're going to continue to get Grammy nomination. That's why. <laughs> that's <laughs> the point. Because yeah, that's just like it. when people say, you know, you, you do what you love and the money will come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the same thing, man. It's going to come. Yeah, that's yeah, Grammy's that's gonna the come. motto. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's yeah. what's up. So you've got some mixtapes uh, with Sex Tape Chronicles 1 and 2, Sex, Love, and Hip Hop, and Circa 96. Mm -hmm. A lot of little sexy songs you got there. Yeah. Man, y'all need to go download those and, and, and put wait, some wait, verse you know in your life. Wait, how uh -huh. do you know when you did that already? Well, maybe if you have. Okay, so you, all right. If you have all of them, it's like, wow, okay, cool. <laughs> That's really dope, but so yeah. Why, why did you decide to go the mixtape route versus like a regular studio album? Um, you know, I felt I, I, I'm a big believer in your fans got to grow with you. And I feel like nowadays it's like you could put out an album, but once you put out an album and it doesn't do what people expect it to do or what the labels might expect it to do, then it puts you in a situation. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like coming out, you know, initially I always looked at myself as a songwriter, artist, producer. Like it's never really just been I'm just an artist. You know what I'm saying? So 
I kind of wanted time for people to kind of grow and and build with me, you know what I mean, to kind of get to the point where it makes sense for me to really put out a, you know, a real album. But I think that it's been it's been working for me, and I, I'm still putting out more music, and I'll put out an album eventually. But right now, I'm just like having fun with it. Right. right. Was there any yeah. apprehension going? You know what? I I do a lot of songwriting for other people, but now it's time for me to do this was there any apprehension with making that transition yeah. um yeah yeah you know it, it was more so like not in as far as giving the songs up more of dedicating the time to it you know what i'm saying because um in i think like oh nine when i when i first got signed with my first single buy you around um mm. it was Oh, I'm sorry. That brought, that brought, that brought That's how memories. you know you got a hit. That brought back memories, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Like so, when I first put that out, it was kind of like um, I was doing the writing thing, but that kind of started to move so fast for me, and I started to hit the road a lot and be on tours a lot and Dope. stuff like that. So it kind of slowed down my writing process. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying for other people. So when I kind of fast forward. And then I kind of looked back. I was like, man, I'm just, I'm really just focusing too much on just one thing. And I kind of had to take kind of like all of last year and just kind of just get a refocus on what I was trying to do. And so I got back, got back to a space where the, the artist stuff is great, but I had to, you know, get back on my writing stuff. So now mm -hmm. it's kind of like, oh. Uh, so it sounds like writing is the passion. Yeah, I mean, it's all the passion. All but, is the passion. But yeah, it's all the passion. I mean, it's like, like I said, it's like with Babyface. What are you going to say? Which one is the passion? Yeah. You know what I'm right, right. You do. It's music. I'm able to get up every day and create music, some for myself, some for other people. You know what I'm saying? So I get that. It's all, the passion is in the entirety, but I want to be able to do it all. And, and so that's why, for me, it's kind of taking a lot longer to kind of just make sure I have everything in position, you know? Right. That makes right. sense. Do you get writer's block ever? Yeah, I think everybody does. I yeah. think, yeah, what do you do? Do you yeah, like go get up and like I'm about to go get a smoothie? Like what do you do? <laughs> what should, that's what I would do. But what is yeah. your, what would you do when you get writer's block? Um, you sometimes honest. you just have to just leave it alone and just come back oh, to it. Yeah. Okay. You know, sometimes it's as simple as that. You might need to smoke some. <laughs> that's what I say. I said, be honest. Yeah, you might, <laughs> yes. you might need to smoke some. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, everybody has their own different things. But sometimes. Just leaving it alone for a while and coming back to exactly. it mm -hmm. kind of help you out. You know That's dope. Okay. Right. So with yeah, the song you, can't you have... Push, you can't press it. Right, right, oh, right. okay, that makes sense. But with the song you have with Kid Ink and Eric Bellinger, Sexy Body, Sexy Body yeah. what made you want to keep that for yourself, though? Um, Instead of just, you know like, what? passing it off. You know? Because um, I was doing the, the Circa 96 um, EP that I had. Mm -hmm. I, I was doing that, and it just kind of really fit with the theme that I was doing. So I decided to keep that record. You know dope. what I'm saying? It's because a dope record, it, man. Yeah, appreciate it. It was yeah. something that I felt like... If it still felt really current, and but of course you're gonna remember the LL Cool J, you know what I mean, sample in there. So, right. um, mm -hmm. I felt like it just really fit that project, so I wanted to keep it for that. Did you end up working with Eric? Because I've heard, I've heard that people kind of compare you to. So to it's like you and Eric Bellinger. Oh, oh yeah, I've never heard that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nah, I mean, yeah, yeah that's the homie though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the homie. Um, he's co-written with me on a couple records. Um, Love More being one and mm. New Flame. Also, that I wrote with um, uh, for Chris and Usher. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a homie cool. for sure. Right, yeah. right. Great. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I know you have like a lot of hits, and you've <laughs> been credited for writing a lot of amazing songs. Justin yeah. Bieber's confident. Kendrick yeah. Lamar, bitch, don't kill my vibe. Yeah. That was uh, my joint right there too. Oh Kendrick my Lamar, bitch, don't kill my vibe. No, yeah. I didn't write that one. You didn't? No, no, no. Well, I can't take that one. I, <laughs> hey, 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 by the way, people calling people out for shit like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody well, say I did that. <laughs> I feel like you did, you, did you work he with Kendrick? Corrected it. No, I've, I have not no, worked with Kendrick. Well, then, I don't know yeah. where they got that from. Okay, no, well, <laughs> it's cool. I stand corrected. Yeah, it's okay, but you have okay. all these other hits <laughs> anyway with everybody. Yeah. So, what song do you think that you wrote that just took your writing career to the next level? Ah, uh, man. I think that. Hmm. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Like, yeah, I mean, love. I mean. Who gonna stop me was a big one for right. me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was that was big for me, but I think as far as um, notoriety, I think probably Love More right now is probably the one that kind of just really got people really focusing on it, and then right. New Flame now I think is kind of just taking that to a new level, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Definitely. I think those those two records for me are probably, I mean, and the Confident from Justin Bieber, I got a lot yeah. of attention on that one as well. That song I love that, that, I love that record. That, song that came out yeah. crazy. When it comes to songwriting, do you do something different for yourself than you do for other people? Um, or do you write yeah. songs differently? Yeah, I mean, I, the process is pretty much the same, but I know 
I feel like I know what, like I said, what somebody could say that believable from their perspective and what's from mine. Like, I might say something crazy right. mm-hmm. on my record where I know Justin Bieber can't say that. What you did, what you don't know is someone in this room just confirmed that. Someone yeah. said. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I might, I might talk crazy, but right. like I said, you just kind of, you got to kind of have an awareness of, you know, the person you're creating for, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. If I'm a painter and I'm, and, and you have something that you're trying to, have me paint to fit into something I just can't go and be like well, I'm gonna just paint over this wall and paint over this wall and <laughs> right. I gotta stick right here because this is what you're at you know what I'm saying we, and we and it's also a job you know what I'm saying like you're trying to sell albums at the same time right well okay so don't give us any names yeah. you can if you'd like to be messy <laughs> but we don't want to put you out there like that yeah. who give us a, a story of something that like working for somebody and they were just impossible I don't know man and you were just like, oh my gosh, they don't take your song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have them problems, man. Really? I don't have them problems. Awesome. I, can't, I can honestly him. say. No, we're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. No, like, I hope that no, was easy, but I, I, I really like my, my, I don't know because. Or you just don't want no beef with no one. <laughs> no, I, like, I don't, I don't think I, I have any. Like I, I say, like, yeah. I, I literally, I come in and, and, and the vibes are always cool. And, you know, I have a, my, as far as ego, I feel like I'm really just super like laid back. So I think people don't probably see a threat in that, and I'm, I usually get along with almost everybody. I don't really have problems. That's good. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I see. Hold on, is this a is it implant? Uh, yeah. Let dermal, me see. Dermos. Why did I? So when I saw that in your video, I really yeah. was, was like, uh, I thought it you was thought like it was a, a light. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. a light. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was a light. I thought it was, it was like, like a fact. I was like, oh, why that's he got dope. this glitter on his face? <laughs> I thought it was like <laughs> he just stuck some Who's stickers. Who's the makeup artist, man? Who was, who was the stylist? I thought it was an set. effect they put in it. I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, the effect is still here. Like, uh, <laughs> why do they keep showing this glitter on his? Did that hurt? How do they do that? Um, they they create a little incision. Right, and then they put like it's an anchor that goes horizontally. Oh, does yeah. it hurt? I mean, it's like makes your eyeball. It's kind of fast. Uh-huh. It depends on who does it too. Okay. Like you know what I mean? If you have somebody that knows what they're doing, it's gonna mm. be less. Painful, right. You know what I'm saying? So the person who did mine, he knew what he was doing. It was fast, so it didn't really hurt. That's pretty dope. How? Did, why did you choose this area right here? Well, you know, people get um, like tattooed tears, right? Right. Mm-hmm. They usually symbolizes death. Right. But for me, it was in a time when I got this, it was a time where I was kind of like, I was, you know, like I told you, I was starting all over and kind of just, yeah, just kind of centering myself. And, and so it, it symbolizes for me like new life instead of death. It's like, you know, kind of like a rebirth kind of uh, thing. You know? That's dope. Yeah. Do you ever forget that it's there and then you like wipe your face and it's like, ah. Nah, nah, I don't have, I have it. I never. Come on, y'all keep trying to jinx me, uh, man. <laughs> you have other piercings? Nah. Okay. I mean, besides my ears. Right, right, okay. Yeah, Yeah. I don't want to know that. Nah. (laughs) 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 Right, right, right. Right, Yeah, like, what if I was like, yeah, you know, I got my belly button pierced. That would be awesome. You know what? There's no judgment here. We're supposed to be right. We're in LA. I've seen everything. I would have been straight quiet. (laughs) Yeah, you were like, you still know where it's Pass the judgment. (laughs) Pass the judgment on the law. Right, right. Yeah. But speaking of your, we checked out your website, vvssociety.com. Yeah. So we noticed that your music is on there as well, but what we did like is that the fact that you not only have just your music on there, yeah. you have like pop culture on there, you have fashion, you have yeah. art and all that stuff on there. Yeah. Like, that's amazing. Uh, what, made you, what made you really just want to focus? Because, I mean, if you go into a, an artist's website, you just think you're going to focus on just their music yeah. or what they're doing. Yeah. So what made you want your website to be more involved like that? Well, I, I didn't want it to just be about me and my music. Like, I wanted to keep people aware of things that I aware of as well and okay. things that I'm into as well. So uh, we wanted to create a, a site that people could go to and get everything from news to technology on it. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, if you want to get some music, then great. And we also have other people's music on there as well. You know what I'm saying? It's not only my music. Um, we feature other people's music on there as well, and upcoming artists and all kind of stuff like that. I wanted something that was tasteful that people right. could kind of look at and, and really, you know, find a good source to come to for information. You know That's a good idea, man. Mm, right. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. telling you now I'm going to steal it because I was just, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going my website. I was like, only my pictures and everything I'm doing, but that right, makes right, sense right. to add things like that because right. if someone is looking up their website right. for that, it keeps, it's going to well, come it keeps up. keeps people on your page as exactly. well. Exactly. You know, it keeps them. Right. And don't people, watch, like, 
count views for websites now? Like, right. how many, like yeah, 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 all of that oh, counts. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's also the name of my label as well, VVS Society. I have, a, mm -hmm. I have a new label that I just started. I have a, my first uh, act. It's a girl group called Sincerely EXO. I really love them. It's oh, gonna be nice. great. So you already have your own record label? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. What's, the name, what's the name of it? VVS Society. VVS? Oh, yeah. okay. Dope. VVS what does that stand for, by the way? VVS. Well, the first it, V. <laughs> <laughs> what's the first V? It, it, it really, it, it initially started out as a clothing line, which is Villains versus Saints. Ah. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of just kind of expanded from there. And so we, I decided to keep the VVS Society because it's really like a diamond society, like a diamond-minded, like VVS as in diamonds but diamond mind, mind. instead right. of mind society so, yeah so ah. that's the whole concept oh, of it i thought okay. it was very verse simmons <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 hey, that, that might work that was a so good guess that was a good guess though uh, that, that was, was a great one that was yeah, a great that was one verse 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 versus Simmons. Verse, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Very versus yeah, Simmons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That might work. Oh, tell, us, <laughs> tell us about your next project, 1996. Uh, 1996, I actually, like, I'm pushing 1996 back. You are? Okay. Yeah, I'm pushing 1996 back. I'm doing um, my third installment of the Sex Tape Chronicles, which okay. is so Sex Tape Chronicles 3. Okay. Is the next one I'm going to do. Um, it's subtitled Sex God. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to dropping that. Okay. So you got any like features on it or anything you want to? I mean, do? I, I, I'm gonna have some features on there, but I gotta keep it low for now. But it's gonna All be right. it's <laughs> gonna be some big features that you yeah. know. I know. I already you know. know. What had happened was I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm already on it. Okay. <laughs> That's and right. She, and she has a new dance. <laughs> With the dance, it's gonna blow. It's gonna go. Don't throw, throw right. in some yeah. auto tune, you good girl. Oh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. See, I got you. So, so have you experienced any type of shade from people trying to pigeonhole you as just a songwriter, or has everybody been pretty good about accepting you, you know, making the transition around, to yeah. your own with your own projects? Yeah, um, I think um, people have more so tried to pit, pigeonhole me as just an artist more than anything okay. at, at, at at one point because, like I said, I think um, my artist side kind of superseded my writer side for a minute, okay. and so you know. People initially kind of were like, "Okay, the artist, like you know, he gonna write me a record." You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So, um, but I don't think I have those problems right now. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you do either. Yeah. <laughs> which, which one is more like, like I guess you can say, uh, financially stable, the writing or the artist? Oh man, it, I mean, Isn't it, I would think the writing, right? I would think right. the writing. I mean, too. the writing. The sorry. writing is uh, as far as. You thinking down the line, future wise, like, uh, okay. but you know, you can hit the road and just be coming up all day. That's right. That's true. You uh, know what I'm saying? You can hit the road and just hit lick, 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 lick. Okay. And if right. you got your shows lined up, you got a good booking agent, man. You could really have a good come up. So. Right, right. It just depends. Okay. Which one gets you my girls? <laughs> the artist, like just being I don't know. I can't tell the difference. That I can't tell the difference anymore. Oh. I just know half of it ain't because of me. So you're a singer, songwriter, rapper, producer, everything. Which, if you had to pick one, I can't do it. Uh, uh no. Nah, you have if, to breathe them all. If God came down I can't and told do you it. to pick one, you know what? God understands. God understands. Which one would it be? <laughs> can't do it. What? Can't That's even dope. do it. That's good. That's, That's good. good. I can't do it because it's like, first of all, I would just hate to be in a situation where I could only do one thing. Right, you know what right. I'm but I think that's also like what helps me to have an edge on a lot of other um, creators as well is that I can do all these things. So I'm going to get the job done regardless. If you need, if you need a rap hook, I got a rap hook. If you need a singing hook, I got a singing hook. You need a whole ver it doesn't matter. You need a track, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So Right. No acting? I got to fit that in. I haven't fit that in. <laughs> <laughs> I got to fit that in. I got to I came out here this summer. I was like, yo, I'm going to take some acting classes. I ain't done it yet. Really? So get on it first. <laughs> but when, you start, when you start, like, what do you see yourself doing? Like, some, like, give us a show or a movie that you can see yourself doing. I, I, well, hopefully it's something funny. I have a, I have a uh, kind of weird sense of humor, so... Mm. I think it'd be kind of fun to show that off a little bit. Okay. That's good. People don't expect it because I'm really quiet, but right. Right. All right. it's dangerous. So, Kevin Hart, you heard that? Going to give right. me a right. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. So, what, what, would, what would you say is the hardest thing you've had to face in your career? I know you don't have those problems, but I know, yeah. there's, you know there's something uh -huh. that's happened at some point. I mean, one of the hardest things, I guess, is just really trying to get to the point where 
people really respect your craft and you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're known for what you do. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the hardest things is to kind of humble yourself and understand that it takes time and you got to build it and you got to kind of just keep going. You know what I'm saying? It's not like one of those things that sometimes you have people who come in and immediately it's like, boom, right. shot. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But um, I feel like the, the, the greatest success stories have been with people who we've known for a while that mm -hmm. ended up having the ultimate success, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, that's just kind of been my hardest task, having to just kind of just realize that, accept it, and just keep working hard, you know what I'm saying? Has there been like a situation where something happened? I mean, you don't have to, again, like you said, you don't have to say man. no name. No, we just want to yeah. know like a story. Like a <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear a story. Uh, we know, we know. <laughs> I know, I know. I we wish want, I had the like tea, the coffee, and the hot chocolate. Like crazy stories. Like I, I don't even know how to start a crazy story. <laughs> what yeah, happened was yeah, well, I, I don't know how to start a crazy story. Yeah, like, I, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. No, that's good. No. Well, speaking of your career, like you're very successful, but is there like any goal that you want to accomplish within your career? Like that's something yeah. that you've written down. What is that? Yeah. Um, you know, I still want. I still have, like y'all said, I never put out an actual album before, so I want to be able to get to the point where um, I'm able to uh, basically showcase my works on a on a on a bigger scale. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that when I do release my my music, people receive it and 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 love it. You know? Okay. So that's that's one of my biggest biggest things, but I'm not necessarily in a rush for it either. It's kind of one of those things I know is gonna happen. And I'm doing the work for it to happen, so it's you know. You have a great mindset, man, because right. I can just feel your energy, that yeah. humility there. So right, so. it's just timing, man. It's all yeah. in God's works. You know, you gotta leave it up to Him, and then just keep doing what you do. All so, right. Well, yeah. speaking of God, did He place a woman in your life right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm single at the moment. All right. All yeah. Right. What do you look for in a lady? Yeah. I don't even know anymore. A sexy body. Yeah, no. <laughs> a sexy body. A boot thing. Definitely works. A boot thing. Sexy body. I mean, I, a Kelly Rowland. A Kelly Rowland. Yeah, I mean, why not? I, I mean, I ain't mad at Kelly. But I think at the end of the day, right now, um, I think right now it's just more about a feeling more than anything, man. You Chemistry. Know? Yeah. Yeah, it's more about that than anything. You can't really like, you know. Push it. Push the issue, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it's gonna be what it's gonna yeah. be, and I feel like. If you have a good energy with somebody and y'all click, and you get to see where it goes, you know what I'm saying. But right, right now, it's, I'm not really like, okay, well she gotta have this, and then well, she gotta. Have, <laughs> what if she got ugly this. feet though? <laughs> <laughs> if her feet ugly, would you make an exception if she was like, if you vibed with her? Can we get them? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can we fix them? Can we like get them fixed? <laughs> like, are you the type? Like, what if she can't cook? Are you? Is that a deal breaker for you? If she's like, well, I don't, if you can't cook. How you gonna feed our children if we get married? See, like, that's what oh, you okay. asked. Ramen noodles. Yeah, like, uh, uh, we get here. Well, you but so you're traditional, basically. That's fist, you're yeah. traditional. That's fistable, though. You can uh -huh. fix that, though. No, you can't. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No, because there's a lot of girls who can't cook. Yeah. All right, you go to cooking classes. Cortez be trying to fix everybody. He's like, okay, we're gonna work on it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you. I, I mean, it. it is something you can yeah. work on. Not, that's yeah. fistable. I feel you. It's more about the effort, though. If you if you if you at least trying to cook, if you're horrible at cooking, mm -hmm. then we can do the classes. But if you don't, you're not even trying to cook. <laughs> right. yeah. Then that's the issue. Is yeah. it is it hard yeah. to date in this industry? Of course. That's how I feel. But it's easy at the same time. <laughs> is it easy? Why? Because there's a lot, there's a lot of options. Why is it easy? Yeah, right. I would say that. There's yeah. But is, but just because there's more options, does that mean there's more quantity? That's like quality? Thing, right? oh, like okay. quality of the quantity? Um. Yes and no. It depends on the circle you're in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like it just depends on the circle you're in. But um, it's a, it is kind of hard to date sometimes because you know, obviously, if you're successful, then you know that's what people look for, which isn't a bad yeah. thing. Like right. you know, right. I want somebody that's su successful as well. Right. You know right. right, right. So that's not a bad thing. But right. um, like I said, it's about a vibe. It's about communication and a, and a, some kind of connection. You know. And your feet can't be bad, ladies, because they're going to be hitting you yeah. up on Twitter first. <laughs> you can hide the things. You can hide <laughs> Just always wear clothes toes. Right, right, right. right. In public. Never hit the red carpet without clothes toes shoes. Well, before we get out of here, what are some upcoming projects or things that we can look forward to with you? Um, man, I'm, I got so much going on right now. Um, of course, look out for Chris Brown's ex. Like, I have, like, four or five <laughs> records on that on Oh, that yeah, album. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Usher's album, I'm on there as well. That's that's gonna be coming out soon. Um, Kevin Gates, I have his single as well called "Get It Out the Mud." I'm working on um, Sean Kingston. I'm, I'm co-executive producing his album. Come on, nice, uh, Kid Ink, 
I've been working with Kid Ink a lot lately. I think we're going to definitely have a few things. Oh, and K. Michelle's album is crazy. I, uh, right. I was working with I'm excited about her project. She's actually. fun in the studio. Right. Yeah, she is really she's, fun. She's yeah, crazy. She is, but her album that she's working on now is amazing. Big shout out to Dallas over there. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about music right now, man. I, I feel like it's a lot of projects that um, I'm really close to. So I'm excited about getting my hands on them and really being able to um, continue to put out great music. That's great. I want to see you work with, like, an odd artist. Like, like who? Celine Dion or something. Like that. <laughs> I want to see that too. <laughs> like I want to see you like do I something can't. like out of the box. I can't wait. Out of the box. I think that'd be so dope. You put can. that put that in the Amazon. I need sing? that. I need that Celine Celine joint. Yo, Celine can sing. Absolutely. That one and, is a and it'll probably sell a million copies the first right day. First hour. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's so crazy. So yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. That is dope, man. All right. Yeah. So where can all of your fans find you online? Uh man, follow me at Verse Simmons on all social social media websites and that's v-e-r-s-e-s-i-m-m-o-n-d-s there you go (laughs) right where can we find you guys oh kiki airs k-i-k-i-a-y-e-r-s a-y-e-r-s I always, we do that. Do this I always last do time. that. He don't know my name, Megan. He don't know my name. Uh, but you all can follow me on all social medias at Cortez G West. You can also follow us at BHL Online, people. Where can we find you at, Megan? And as always, you can hit me up on that Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter Instagram. at Meg Scoop, <laughs> like Scoop of Ice Cream. Until next week, we'll see y'all later. Bye, folks. <laughs>